I'm AJ McLaughlin. I'm Ryan Ruiz. I'm DJ Rich. I'm Ruben Cesar Telford. I'm Clinton Martinez. And we are the hosts of Opinions and Consequences, the podcast, the show where your opinions can lead to consequences. So, choose your words wisely. Enjoy the show. Yo, what's going on, people, man? Welcome back to another episode of Opinions and Consequences. Off the books, you guys know this is the condensed, shortened version of the full episode. Guys, you guys, you already know this is the thought-provoking, sometimes controversial, but always entertaining show. Guys, I got a guest in the building. I want to welcome Rose back into the building. What's poppin', Rose? What's good? What's hey, good? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Everything's good. How's your summer been? Let's just get it started. So. Okay, okay. I know. Listen, listen, I know how Boston is. Boston summer is very, very late, people. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know if people have been up to the Northeast, but our summer starts kind of like in June, late yes. June, August. Definitely. Yeah? Nah, um, we're at like late June, July. What's, uh, let me ask you this. What's your favorite season? Oh, definitely. Like being up in here. Like besides summertime. Okay. Definitely early fall. Early fall? Early fall. Because that's it's not raining, it's not crazy. I get to wear like my cozy, cute outfits and all. Like you have like a sweater, like Yes, the so sweater, the scarves. You get to wear a lot of accessories okay. as a female. What do you mean accessories? Like accessories, like, you get to wear the cute hats, the cute You wear scarves. hats, you wear the scully? That you fashionable uh, jacket with the, with the bomb bomb. Yeah, it makes your whole outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I can look cute and and feel good at the same time. <laughs> so, like, do you prefer fall over summer? Like, I know you get to show skin. You get to do the whole like, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Don't do the yellows. I I know you get to show. Being I, polite and start getting it on. We're gonna come back to that. We're gonna come back to that. Yeah, listen, 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 yo. All right, listen. Um, really quick, listen. We're gonna get right into the show, guys. Um, first question. I know this is your question. Um, can men be the prize during dating phase? Is this a reasonable or healthy dynamic to have between potential suitors? Listen, people, I'm going to start this off. I'm going to get right into my bag, people. Um, I think both parties can be pr- prizes. Um, I do think that depend on what you deem is the prize is going to is going to make you understand if that person is the prize or not the prize for you. Um, you know what I mean? My thing is just like, you know, I feel like a lot of us... A lot of us have this misconception, misconception on um, certain people being a prize in a relationship where it's just kind of like, yo, this is the girl or this is the guy. But I feel like everybody has their thing that they bring to the table. Right. You know what I mean? Um, Yeah. I don't know what you got to say about that. (laughs) So I'll tell you from like me being a woman in my perspective. Okay, here we go. You have to be a very specific type of man to tell me that you were the prize. If a man, any man, just tells me they're the prize and I don't see like the the you know the merits that you bring to the table, there's no second date. Like I'll just God be with you. Hold on, wait. Bless you. You're you're good to go. Yep. And I'll tell you why. Because Women preach about being the prize, right? You've seen like a lot of videos on social media, that kind of stuff. We're more of an emotional creatures when we say that kind of stuff. We're trying to learn to self-validate. We're trying to say, you know what? I've got to raise myself to a higher standard. I've got to raise my value. You know, a man should be putting more effort into it. And if you guys are truly interested in a woman, you 110% will put much more effort into it than a woman that you guys aren't really all that interested in to begin with so here's that right and then you have the guy saying that he's the (laughs) the guy who's saying that he's the prize 
you guys operate not that you're not emotional creatures but you guys operate more on your pride and ego so if i hear a man say i'm the prize it's not because he's trying to self-validate it's because he's looking for um external validation i would say and i'm not saying that's okay. everyone no, no, that's fair that's fair but that's you fair. know like a guy who says that would strike me more as a guy who just wants someone to stroke his ego and therefore mm. for me it would be like okay so now i'm having to prove myself to you because you're the prize if that makes <sighs> sense listen i'm gonna I'm a clap it up you <laughs> um i'm picking up what she's putting down people i'm picking up what she's putting down um however i do I, okay so guys if you guys are coming off as you're saying you're the prize okay you, you guys got to put that back in the show because my <laughs> thing is like this is like I, I feel like i i feel like a lot of us and i'm talking to you gentlemen um we have to let the other person deem us as being a prize you know what i mean it's 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 one of those things where i feel like a lot of us um we jump out in females too where they like feel like yeah i'm that i'm well, i'm i'm right. all what you need you know, yeah i'm all what you need yeah go ahead do it do it do it one time <laughs> i'm all what you need yes bitch yes <laughs> Yeah. Well, yes. I'm not okay, saying there just, are there isn't any like outliers when it comes to like the women, but usually when you hear women preach that, it's it's more about learning to self validate because a, the majority of us tend to settle for less than we deserve just because we like the guy. If that I, makes sense. I'm I'm, I'm, with you, I'm with you on that to a certain extent where it's just like you know, I feel like. I don't feel like a lot of us are in it to get less. I feel like we have to understand we, our values. Like, you know well, what I mean? Exactly. Like, exactly. So and, for me, if I would see something, you know, like cheers, that, cheers, but cheers, I, yeah. Cheers, yeah. Cheers, 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 yeah. So go ahead, go ahead, man. Um, I think I'm learning in my, in my own personal life. You have to remember that relationships are to serve someone else. So if you aren't prepped enough to serve someone other than yourself, then you definitely shouldn't be dating to begin with. You know what I mean? So if someone who I can see can't even serve anything beyond themselves and then they tell me their price because of all the accomplishments and whatever, you know, self-validating things they've got going on then that for me is not a prize because it's like, okay, so I have to prove myself to you. And then on top of that, I've got to show you like what I bring to the table, but how are you going to behave with me? Are you actually going to value what I bring to the table? Are you going to appreciate what I bring to the table? Are you going to appreciate my service to you? You probably aren't because in your head, you're the prize. (laughs) So that for me is where I would draw the line. If I don't see that kind of character in someone, then I, you know, then the term prize kind of just goes out the window. Yo, listen, man. In other words, what she's saying, if you slid in her DM, erase it, dude. Erase it, right? Immediately. Um, I'm hearing what you're picking up, what you what you're putting down. Um I do wanna say that I feel like um a lot of times when when men and women integrate with each other like it's 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 a main it's, it's amazing bonding but at the same time it's one of those things where i feel like a lot of times like people are not mature enough to actually feel like they could they understand what they're going into and they understand what they're bringing to the table like sometimes bitch i'm the table you feel me okay first of all first ma'am i'm built like one okay for you I'm know built like okay one. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Okay. So, but okay, but at the same time, it's just one of those things where it's just like you have to understand what you're bringing to the table versus what is already at the table. Right. Um, okay. I can agree with that. Yes. And I do feel like some people are a little egotistical in terms of what more do they bring versus what more is already there, per right. se. Right. Um. And with that being said, it's just, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, it's a hard thin line where both parties have to kind of 
resolve with each other where it's just kind of like all right cool i bring this to the table i brought this to the table we brought we both brought this all to the table let's make this work well yeah I there's think. a sense of um humility that has to come out. Yeah. you yeah. know you 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 have to be humble enough to know like uh you know what appreciate what the other person can bring to the table that maybe you yourself have never been able to do you know on your own and there's appreciation for the differences in thought process and to, you know um obviously fundamentally you definitely have to have like the same like moralities and, and, okay. and goals you know not everything to the t but you know generally you guys are pretty much on the same boat that's pretty much the only way that that kind that phrase would really work for someone i mean i've seen people who are both alphas and male and female and they work wonderfully together where you know societal norms it's usually like submissive woman alpha man or vice versa you know what i mean no i definitely so, so i definitely think it just comes um down to like the individual themselves and how um humble they choose to be in terms of you know what the other person does bring to the table but also being confident in their own selves knowing that they too have things on the table and bring things to the table that could complement the other person god damn man I feel like she's running for office, dude. I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to lie. I feel like she she either part of Michelle Obama's book club or Oprah's. <laughs> I don't know. But listen, listen. Are we, we're going to double. We're going to triple up the next one. Okay, listen. Um, we, I'm going to tell you this real quick. What are the financial expectations and norms in dating today? So we're going to get into it. Um. We're not gonna. We're gonna go past the buzzer, people, um, and then we're gonna get into the next topic. Um, I feel like this. This is a very intriguing and entertaining, engaging topic, just because of the fact that like, I feel like the dating norms when you come into a relationship are very different when it comes down to what the male and the females are expecting you know what i mean for example like you know what i mean like guys if you're talking to a female and the whole idea is just like you know you want to you want to make her seem like she's valued like no not seem okay you want it to make it make her feel that she's valued now my whole thing is just like now do you have to spend the bag on her like all the time like say for instance if she's she's saving up for a car or she's saving up for a bag or et cetera, et cetera. But then again, it's just like, you have goals too, but it don't matter to her because she's the prize, like she said. So like, you know what I mean? She's the prize, so therefore, considering that she's a prize, you have to make her feel valued that she's the prize. So my thing is just like, what are the, what are the financial expectations in norms and dating today? Well, if we're going off of what you said, I'd say, uh, first of all, if a woman is in that position, in that position, you honestly shouldn't be dating. I mean, mm. because. <laughs> talk that talk. Talk that talk. So here's my take on it. Like, I wouldn't go out somewhere that I knew I couldn't afford and then ask a man to take me there. You know what I mean? Like, because I just don't know what kind of man I'm going to be. <laughs> I just don't know what kind of man I'm going to be uh, walking into. You know, like if, if we decided to go on a date, we want to get to know each other for all I know. You know, he could get pissed, walk off, and say, I'm going to leave the bill to you. Big you got to be able to afford that. Big so facts. If, yeah, right, because it's a meal for two. So if you're going to put that responsibility on him, you got to be ready to, like, so, you so, know, To be able to it. chip in a bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I'm here, I'm you know, here. and even then, like, I'm not saying don't, um, because honestly, if a man, you know, requires me to pay 50 of the bill, I'm going to be like, okay, I will gladly pay the 50 of the bill, but that's not the kind of man I'm looking for. That would, to me, would be, like, more of a... 50 50 kind of guy i'm not with that because i know the kind of lifestyle i want to live so i think it comes down to who that person is and who you are as an individual if it compliments you great if it doesn't then I, don't I, I i can respect that i can yeah. respect that um um i'm with you on that um 
I just feel like the expectations for a male is so much higher than for a female. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like for the financial part, it's yeah. just because, you know, males are providers. Right. So therefore, it's just like you're expecting a male to provide everything. Right. Yo, and, and with you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to do that. Right. And I think that's true. I, I will definitely agree with you. The financial like portion of, uh, of things, is de- like as a society, we definitely expect the males to be the ones to provide. Um, but if, like, again, I think it all just comes down to the kind of individual that you are, because for I've also seen women who don't really require much of a man, even financially, then they go and get married, have kids together, and Big now facts. they're doing 50-50, but really it's more like 25-75, where she's also bringing money to the table, also paying half of the bills, and then she's got the entire responsibility of taking care of the children. That, to me, doesn't work. Unless he's going to be a man who's going to like be more manly than you as a woman and definitely provide in that sense and expect you to do 50-50, he better be ready to do 50-50 with the kids, too, if you guys choose to have kids. You know? Yo, listen, man. I feel like she got a knife on her. So I'm gonna go to the next. I'm, I'm gonna go to the next one, guys, because I feel like she got it on her. Like, cause like she's like, yo, I swear for Lord, if this dude does not come with the bit, like, yo, listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask you this: Is it respectable slash reasonable for a man to require 50, 50, 50, 50 in a relationship? Um. <sighs> It depends. Like, I, I feel like, you know what I mean? Every every situation is dependable. Right. Um, and once again, guys, I don't know what your financial status is. You might be, yo, listen, listen. If you got Oprah, hey, hey listen up. Hey, Pap is on you, big dog. Like, you know what I mean? You made it. But at the same time, you know you ain't going to go 50-50 with Oprah. No. You know you ain't going <laughs> to, you, you know you're not going to go 50-50 with somebody that is more in a financially better situation than you because it's not ideal right um however i do feel that 50 50 it does create more of a of a bonding experience where it's just like this is like yo listen you got this i got that you got this you got that like you know what i mean right so i feel like there's there's 50 50 in a sense of financial and then there's 50 50 in a sense like yo Babe, don't worry about that. Like, if I'm a better cook, I'll cook at the crib. If, 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 you know, if you're the handy person, you do the handy shit. You know what I mean? I feel like there's an equal balance in that. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. Okay, and okay. that's what I was saying earlier. Like, I've even seen two people who are, like, both alphas, and they make it work because they kind of understand each other in that sense, mm. you know? So if someone can't get it in this area, the other person's got it. And they just kind of, you know, complement each other, like I was saying earlier. And that works. But if you are not, you know, a submissive person or or you are a submissive woman and then you have a man who's 50-50, you're going to be... You're not going to have the time of your life. <laughs> In other because words, people, like, she's not submissive. People. Yeah. She's not submissive. That's what, that's what she's telling me. That's all she wants that's, to tell you. No, that's not what I just wanted to say. <laughs> Stop, no, it. Stop it. Stop it. No, I'm just saying, like, for you to be a person who requires 50-50, I'm not going to say it's like you're not a respectable man for requiring it. You just have to be willing to accept, like, the the... The highs and lows of it. A woman who's 50-50, you're not getting a submissive woman. You're getting a masculine woman who's 100,000, 10% going to put her input on things. It's not just going to be your way or the highway. She might not want as many kids. So, you know, because she's going to be like, wait, what do you mean you want five kids? Like, I got a business to run. <laughs> you're, you're not going to hold me down with five kids and then tell me. Yeah, like, in other words, guys, you got like, China. China from <laughs> WWE, my G. Yo, you got to chill. You got to chill. <laughs> no, it's not that. But you, you get what I'm saying. Like, you have to really know yourself in terms of, like, choosing a 50-50 lifestyle, you know? Oh, man. I got, listen. Guys, ladies, take these notes. These are bars. These are real big bars. Um, let me ask you this. What role does financial transparency play in the early stages of dating? You got to go first on this one. Okay. Well, for <sighs> starters, 
um, financial transparency definitely sets the tone and um, definitely provides clarity for both individuals. You know, if you're a person who's like up and coming or, you know, you're trying in the middle of starting your own business so you can't afford to like spend a lot of money because you're trying to, to build yourself, um, you know, that's definitely something to bring to the table. And I think that would definitely play a role in how that person chooses to, um, I don't want to say behave, but like chooses to interact with you. Somebody mm. might run away from that because, oh, he's not a provider or, you know, correct, I'm speaking correct, from right, a right. woman's point of view. And others might be like, okay, this is a man who's working on himself. Like, let me see where it goes. If things actually, you know, work out between us, then maybe I can be of, you know, service in some way correct, to help correct, this correct. guy. Like I actually was talking to um, uh, one of our friends and he was talking about how his partner, like he can confidently and proudly say that she is 110% his partner mm. because he's been having this business. And when he first started dating her, he told her, listen, like I really cannot offer you much right now because I am up in the making. This is where I'm investing my money right now. Big facts. She she was glad that he was upfront about it and she's even helped him build his business now they're working together and they're they're living their life so See? But, okay so like so now that you say that now you say that like what what me mental capacity does that other person have to have because you know what i mean because a lot of things is like this a lot of people coming back to, going back to our previous question a lot of people want to feel value and, right. and now that you you've you tell this person, hey, this is what I got going on. This is what I'm doing. This is what I can provide. This is what I can't provide. Not saying that you can't or like you say like, all right, cool. Like, yo, I can only do like two or three dates or like this and this and that. We could do two dates a month or something like that. A lot of people may maybe be standoffish. Like, how would you, to the people out there, how would you um, support be supportive and at the same time be hold standards to your own values well for starters i would definitely analyze the man if he's telling me i'm up in the making and coming and then he's requiring me to fund his business and figure it out okay, first i'm 100 percent gonna back off because that's just a man who's trying to use you as a stepping stone to build himself up to the top now if he's telling me the this is God, what I'm investing. <laughs> now, if a man tells me, like, look, this is what I'm investing. This is all I can give you at the moment. And he gives me that opportunity to, like, see what he's doing still. And even though he's got his money invested elsewhere, is still showing me that he wants to put me as a priority. Then he, then I'm. I'm going to be open to being supportive of that because he's not using me as a stepping stone. He's just telling me, listen, I'm taking care of what I need to take care of, but I'm still willing to put in a little extra effort just for you. You know, that's different. Guys, man, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, but these are bars, people. These are bars. Like, um, okay, let me. Okay, this is rapid fire, rapid fire. Um, we're gonna go off of this on really quick. Um, can a 50-50 man or woman still be generous to a man or woman? In some cases, yes. <laughs> hey, we if you want to get into okay, it, listen, we'll go back to no, 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 no. Like in some I, cases, I, yes. I, I, yeah, I, I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, in, in this situation, people, a 50-50 person could could always be generous. Like, you know right. what I mean? Like, you got to think about it, people. Like, what with my generosity, it's, it's up to the other person to determine how significant that generosity is. Right. You know what I mean? Because it's like, kind of like, if I'm like this, like, yo, she want to go get her hair and nails done. And I'm like, yo, here... Here's somebody to go get your heels nail done, nails done in, I don't know, New York. Her, oh shit, damn, this is crazy. He's sending me to New York to get my hair and nails done. Somebody else, a local person might be like, yo, just go to, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. Like, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. 
But a local person would be like, yo, just go to that spot down the spot, down the, down the road. Down the street. Down the road, you know what I mean? Shout out to Ning Chow. So, you know what I mean? But I think, no, hold on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, like, my whole thing is like this, you know what I mean? Shout out to you guys. But my thing is it's like this. Like, it's a different generosity. Right. I, I could send you on a whole, like, trip, and you'd be like, oh, my God. Bitch, I hit the jackpot. But here, so, so here's the thing. That all comes down to the person's humility and if they're truly trying to be a person of service. That's what I was trying to get at at the beginning. It's You can be 50-50 and generous if you are a person who's going into the mentality of having a relationship where you know that you can be of service to the other person, not what's in it for me. Because if you do 50-50 thinking what's in it for me, okay, okay. you're 100% just going to be like, Okay, like this is what I can do, and like it, it's all become gonna become transactional. Okay. And once it becomes transactional, like. But, it, but but okay, all right. A, a lot of relationships are transactional, though. But yeah. A lot of relationships but, are transactional. A lot of relationships are like, okay, I did this for you. Now right. you got to do this for me. Okay. Like you know what I mean? But mean but, okay, it, it does not make it, it right. No. But a lot of people had that mind, that mind, and that concept of being like, okay. I got him a PlayStation 5. So now he got to do something better. Be you see what I'm saying? Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen, before we go, people, anything toxic or positive you got to say? No, you know I'm always going to choose positive. Yeah, no she's positive as hell, bro. Yeah, no toxicity, guys. Don't do that. Catch her on the weekends. Ca oh, okay, first of all. Anyways, we, we won't even address that because, again, pos positivity, guys. Um, positive message. Um, work on yourself as long as you need to until you know that you can be of service to someone else other than yourself. Because then and only then will you be very selective of who you choose to be in your life. Not based on what they can bring to the table, but based on what type of person you would like to be of service to. And that's just more of like the humble end, not the prideful end. And eventually you'll see that you're going to choose somebody that, you know, will value what you bring to the table, which is what you're looking for. Everyone is. <laughs> guys, you guys know I got to be toxic, man. I got to be toxic. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's see. I said, you're going to make me look bad today. Thanks. I should have just said the toxic stuff first. <laughs> so I could be positive? You can be positive. No, I'm gonna, I gotta be talking. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna do a little <laughs> bit of both. <laughs> Listen, people, a little bit of words of wisdom before I go, people. Um, My broke ass <laughs> got the nerve to tell people, hit me up if you need anything. Yo, listen, I got no reason. I got no business telling people that, like, at all. <laughs> More of the story, people. Fellas, if you're giving a female money and you ain't hitting, you're dating a parlay. I want let I want you to let that sit in. You're dating a parlay. Guys, man, I want to thank you guys for rocking out with us for another episode of Opinions and Consequences. Off the books, we got Rose in the building. See you guys. See yeah. <laughs> Guys, you see you guys all right. Um, how can they reach you? What do you mean, how can they reach me? Okay, no. you can't reach at all. You're going to see the, you're gonna see her, her tag at the bottom, okay, guys? But till next time, man, salutations. Chill. Those vamos. Those vamos. You speak Spanish? Of course. Get the fuck out of here. Where you from? Where you from? Oh.